What can I say? Bada bing. Bada boom. Whatever, I let you win. Sure, whatever you say. Let's just get straight into commonly used data types. We'll start with numbers. On the first line, we're assigning the integer 22 to the variable x. In almost every programming language, the equal sign is used to assign a value to a variable. On the second line, we're assigning a string to a variable called word. A string can be almost anything, as long as it's enclosed in double quotes. If you haven't noticed already, in C++ and JavaScript, you indicate the end of a statement with a semicolon. In JavaScript, variable declaration is similar to Python, but it includes the keyword let before the variable name. Now, on the third line, we're assigning a Boolean value to a variable. A Boolean value in coding represents one of two possible states, true or false. Booleans are commonly used in conditional statements and logic operations to control program flow. Are we done yet? Learning is making my headache worse. No. It's only been a minute. I still need to break down the different data types for you first, before you hit me with a bajillion questions. So, we already went over integers, strings, and boolean. Now let's talk about some other types. Float, double, short, and long are all different types of numbers. If you need a specific type, a quick internet search will help you determine which one best suits your needs. Now, moving away from numbers, we also have char, arrays, and lists. Char is short for character. Can you connect the dots? Um, a character like Daredevil? Or Mickey Mouse? Dude. No. Oh. It's just a single character, like a letter or number. No duh. I was just testing you bro. You pass, you're welcome. Okay then Mr. Teacher Man. Can you explain arrays and lists for me please? That's what I thought. Lists and arrays are similar, however, arrays can only hold elements of the same data type, such as all floating point numbers or all strings. In contrast, lists can contain elements of different data types, like integers, strings, and booleans. Ah, yes yes, of course. Alrighty then, should we continue into basic operators? Hell yeah, I'm fired up. I just had a mango smoothie, and now I'm feeling the coding mojo flowing. Um, are you sure it was just a mango smoothie? When it comes to mathematical calculations, Python, C++, and JavaScript work similarly. A plus sign adds, a minus sign subtracts, a double forward slash divides and returns an integer, while a single forward slash returns a float. And an asterisk multiplies. Easy peasy. Next. Okay. Comparison operators are also similar across all three languages. A double equal sign means equal to. An exclamation mark followed by an equal sign means not equal to. Angle brackets represent less than or greater than. Angle brackets with an equal sign mean less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. These operators typically return a Boolean value, true or false. Wow, amazing. Now, let's explore logical operators. These operators typically return a Boolean value based on the given statement. For example, let's set x equals 22 and y equals 11. Now, let's analyze line 4. 22 is greater than 11 and 22 is greater than 2. Is this statement true or false? True. I think. Oh my, yes. When using AND in Python or the double ampersand in C++, all statements must be true to return true. If one statement is wrong, it will return false. When using the or, or statement the double pipes in, Python, in C++, as long as one statement is true, it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. 
hang in there child. Let's quickly go over output and getting user input. To get user input, you need to assign it to a variable if you want to use it later. In Python, declare a variable using equal sign, followed by the input function. If you want to prompt the user, type your message inside the parentheses. Now, that value is stored in the variable and can be used like any other string or number. In C++, you must first declare the variable. To display a message to the user, use std double colon c out double left angle bracket then the message in double quotes to get user input use std double colon c in double right angle brackets then the variable name all right you've been staring at syntax long enough let's run both the python and c versions to see how they execute here's a bonus challenge Try to spot the differences in output and figure out how to make them match exactly. A bonus, huh? Watch I'll have all the answers ready for you, like um, next week. I'll be looking forward to see what you come up with, Mr. Fish.